Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and an intriguing puzzle with a new set of rules today. Looking forward to that. Uh, what do I want to mention now? I want to mention our merchandise. Look at this Cracking the Cryptic hoodie. You can get one of those. It's got a hood. It's good for winter. Um, it's good for just wearing about town to show that you're someone of fashion who follows the channel and understands the secret, probably. I'm sure we'll get to that in the video. Um, but I strongly recommend it. There's all sorts of other garments and uh, accessories too. So do check it out on the link under the video. Now, what other things have we got going on on the channel? And around it, we've got the Discord server and its brilliant community of people. We've got all our apps and the Sudoku Pad app. They're all available on the links under the puzzle. We've got um, the Patreon and the extra content there, including this month's Lockout Lines puzzles, which uh, have been so popular. Um, they're all currently still solvable, um, and there will be a winner drawn out, but uh, they're not easy. That's a warning. Now, what is going on in this puzzle? So it's called Line Dancing Killer Sudoku which is great. That thumbnail writes itself. It's by Chris Weidman, who um, I think it's his debut on the channel. And it features normal Sudoku rules, all well and good, but not normal killer rules, because although cages show their sums, digits can repeat in them. So this 35 cage, I would normally have the power of knowing that that had to be made up of 98765, but it can include repeats this time. So it's kryptonite. Um, blue lines have only even digits with no repeats. Okay, that's straightforward enough. Red lines are palindromes with only odd digits. So obviously they do have repeats in those cells, for instance. A palindrome reads the same both ways. Uh, lines of the same length have the same sums. So a very unusual set of rules. These lines dancing around the grid and some killer cages. No digits given, of course, we never expect that anymore, but do give it a try on the link under the video. Remember digits can repeat in cages, and good luck. And I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. Okay, I'm going to start with the blue lines, because if they are even digits that don't repeat, they are all, each line is a set of 2, 4, 6 and 8. Now that seems quite useful in this one because they're all in this 35 cage and they add up to 20. So these three add up to 15. Now the last rule was that lines of the same length have the same sums. So all the three digit lines add up to 15. Um, which is all that rule is really telling us because it was obvious that the blue lines would have the same sum. Um, I can tell by parity that these digits are odd from their cages, but that's not actually any use because the rule tells me they were odd anyway. Um, these two have to add up to 8 because of the secret, which is that all the numbers from 1 to 9 always add up to 45. And in this, in this box, that's relevant because 45 minus the two cage totals leaves us eight in these two cells. But I was just trying to work out if they couldn't be two and six, but I think they can be, which is annoying. Yeah, I don't see that I know that right. Okay, I've got a seven cage and there they've got to be different digits so that's a one two four ah here is a nine eight six set in a 23 cage right so there we can't have six and eight that must be a two and four pair that feels like it ought to be useful so the other cells in the box are one three five and seven not nine now down here we had 20 in that cage so these have to add up to 15 Oh, that would have told me it's not nine on the ends of the palindrome if I had thought of it. So this middle one is either one, three, or five. Hang on. If those are two sevens, 14 at plus one. If they're two fives, oh, 10 plus five. If they're two threes, it's plus nine. And in fact, they can't be two ones. 
So that must be the same here. If this is going to add up to 15, they can't be two ones or that would be a 13. So it's exactly the same sort of line. Three, five, or is that going to apply here even though we don't know anything about? Yeah, it is. If this line has to add up to 15, it has to take the same form. Threes, fives, or sevens on the ends and a one, five, or nine in the middle. Right, and these two cannot be ones because of the one, two, four cage. They are 5 and 9, therefore their ends, which have to be different, because those 5 and 9 have to be different, the ends have to be, I have to do this in my head again because I've forgotten which is which. Obviously we can take the 7s off. Oh, well, like, yeah, they could be 5, 5, 5. That does work in these positions. Or 3, 9, 3. So now we've got a 1, 2, 4, 5, 9 triple. So these can't be 2 or 4. This 6, 8, 9 means these can't be 6 and 8. And this 1, 2, 4 means that can't be 2 and 4. So I've got this one oh, sort of narrowed down. That's a 6, 8 pair. And this is a 2, 4 pair. But it doesn't quite finish it off. This is also a 2, 4 pair. OK, so the other things on this line are the 6, 8 pair. Hmm, 20 is quite a low total for this. It is. Um, these have to add up to at least 6. These now have to add up to at least 9. Those are absolute minima once I've got this 6 or 8 pair. So this can't be more than a 5. So now this can't be a 3 on the end. Oh, it could still be 5, 5, 5 though. Now, if that was a 5, We'd have 6, 2, 1 here and 1, 2, 3 here. And that does just work. It's close though. It's close to breaking. Got a 6, 8 pair there. If this was 1, 2, 3, we'd have 4 and 9. 2 and 4 are in there, so that's not 2 or 4. So we've now got a 6-8 pair on this line as well. We're dancing up to that line. The other two on it are a 2-4 pair. Um, does that help? Or what have I got up here now? Everything except 3 and 7. I haven't got any actual single digits in the grid, but I know that that's a 3-7 pair on the ends of that. Um... Oh look, let's trace these six eights around. That is different from that. So it's the same as that, which makes it the same as that. Ah, oh, that doesn't mean they're both looking there. Um, six, eight, nine pair, that makes this a five, and I have got a digit. And that means it's a five, five, five line to add up to 15. That makes this one a three, nine, three. It makes this one, yes, that's resolved, a 7-1-7. Now this is a line of different length, so it doesn't have to add up to 15. And it doesn't indeed share its total. Right, one six seven. So again we have 3 and 7 in the corners. Now I've got a pair of 3 and 7 corners in this box. Ah, these two had to add up to 8, didn't they, up here? So this is 1 or 5. And what about this cage now? Nine in it already. Can't be eight and four. That would take us over the total. So this is one or three. Oh, it can't be three. So that's a one. Oh, and these add up to ten, which has two resolutions. So that's a five. That makes that a three because they had up to eight. they had to add up to eight. So here we get the other even digits that add up to ten and a seven. Um, I feel like I'm being very ham-fisted about this. I'm sorry if you can see your way through it a bit better. Seven and nine have to be in those cells. Now, oh, this has become a one. I didn't even remember that being able to be a one. 
Oh, yes, it was because this was six at least, wasn't it? One, two, three, one, two, six, 15 and one. There's lots of degrees of freedom there. Bother. Um, so that 20 cage I thought would be very helpful and I don't think it is. One, two, four, here, oh, come on, think about this. Right, the position of those sevens mean that there is definitely no seven in those cells and there must be one in the 23 cage. Ah, and there's a seven, nine pair there. So it says there's a seven up there. So now there's no seven at all in the 35 cage because of the position of that seven and say that one or that one. Um, but the, they're all odd, aren't they? This sees seven, three and one. So that's a five or a nine and it's on the palindrome with that. Now, if they were fives, these three would have to add up to 25. Oh, but they don't have to be the same. Well, they can be the same. Eight, eight, nine would do it. Or, yeah, it would have to be that, because that nine is forcing that down low. Okay, it would be eight, eight, nine. But those could be nines, in which case this only has to add up to 17. So I'm not comfortable pencil marking that after all. Um, oh, we're very close to a break, completely breaking this, I think. That's also odd. That has to be three or seven now. I don't think that's as helpful. Ah, five and seven are gone there. So one and three, one must be in one of those two cells. How can it be in the 35 cage? It can't. The maximum for those is 24, plus nine is 33, plus one would only be 34. So it can't be, it must be sitting there. Then we get a one somewhere over here. Now we've got a one three pair and a one three pair. Hmm, that doesn't tell me about one and three in this box, but it does tell me they're not in this 23 cage. I don't know if that helps. We've got a two four pair as well in the column. So those are from six, seven, eight, nine, and definitely Definitely include a seven, but those two definitely include a seven too. So the overlap of those is here. That is where seven is. <clears throat> okay, so now we're getting some traction. If that was a nine, these would add up to seven. They'd now have to be a two five pair. If that's an eight, they'd have to be a two six pair. But if it's a six, then they add up to 10 and they would have to be a 2-8 pair again. There's always a 2 in those cells. That's weird. It doesn't actually help much up here. Right, now there's a 7 there. This can't be 9-8-7. So now that can't be a 2. So now 2 is definitely in one of those two cells because we know it's in one of those and that rules out these three. Still don't quite know where two is in this box. I'm really just being very stumbling around a bit inconsistently here. I know that. I think this 35 cage is powerful. If they were nines. Oh, could this ever have a one or a three in it here? Nine, nine, three would be 21. Yeah, those would have to add to 14. That is doable. This has to be... Ah, this is a palindrome, and it can't be 3 or 1, and here it can't be 7. Oh, and it can't be 9 there because of that pair, so it's 5 on the ends. Aha! That's in the same box as this, so that is a 9 now. Right, now these three do add up to 17. That can't be nine because of the nine we've just put in. Sorry about the drilling behind me. One in this box now has to be here, so that can't be a one. And that can't be a one. And this can't be a nine. The central row 
surely is going to give me something in a minute. Or is it the 35 cage with those three adding up to 17? I don't know what's the more important. And I'm, I haven't got anything resolved on there. Maybe I should have done. Or can we go back to this 20 cage? This can't be 1, 2, 3 because of that. So, oh yes it could. I've got a 6, 8, 9 triple done in fact. So these are from 1, 2, 3 and 4. That can't be a 1. This can't be 1 or 3. Now if it was 2, 3 and 4, that would be 9 there. Plus 1 is 10 plus 6 is 16, 1 and 3 there. Oh, in fact, look, that 1 has fixed. Yes, that's impossible. Right, so I was wondering whether we could establish there must be a 1 in these cells, and I think we can. If there wasn't, there'd be 2, 3 and 4. We'd add up to 10 so far, plus at least 6 there is 16. But we can't make those up of 3, 1 or less, because the one's already gone in the box, so there has to be another one in that cage. It has to be there. That's not a one. That's not a one. We can place one in the seven cage. Probably done almost all the ones, just an X-wing of them left at the bottom. Um, oh, there had to be a two. Did it have to be in the cage? It did, because of how it added up. So that's a 4. That's right. So this is not a 4, but it could still be a 3, I think. That's now a 2. That's a 4. Right. This is down to either... It can't be an 8, because that would be 2, 3, and we have 3 over here. Yeah, so that's a 6. This is a 2, 5 pair now. No, I'm doing the maths wrong now. Right. Nonsense. Okay, if it was an 8, 15, this is 23, not 20. So these would add up to 8. That would be a 2-6 pair. And if it was a 6, that's a 2-8 pair. So this is always a 2-6-8-7 cage. That makes this a 9, if I'm doing this right. That's a 3-5 pair. 8-1-7. So that's even. Ugh. Oh, that can't be a 3. It sees a 3. 5 there. 3 there. Right. Now, 18, 23. These two add up to 12. That's even. So this is even. Neither can be a 2. So it's either a pair of 6s or a 4 and an 8. Um, 5, 1, 3, 4, 7, 9. That is 2, 6 or 8 as well. These just aren't resolved. That's not a 9, so that's a 9. 1, 3, 9, 4, 5. One of these is a 7. Oh. Right, 9, to, oh yes, we knew those had to add up to 10. That's not new. Now up here, this is meant to be an 11 total. That has to be 5, 2, 4 now, so that's not 6 or 8. This is a 19 total. So that is 865, which doesn't tell me what these are at all. I think I'm making heavy weather of this, I really do. Right, 2 and 4 are done there, so that can't be a 4, so that can't be an 8. 6 and 8 are done here, so that is a 4, so that's an 8. Right, that's a 2, that's a 3. Now, let's do this 20 cage. 8, 9. These three add up to 11. They can't be 8, 2, 1, because we've used up the 1. 6, 2, 3, they have to be. And that's going to fix lots of things. 4 there. That line is done in full. This 3, 1 pair is done by the 2, 3 pair. That's become an 8, 2, 6. That makes that an 8. And that a 6. These have to add up for the cage. 4, 2, 4. This has become a 6. So 8 there and 2 there. And all our even lines are done. All our odd lines are done now. And I think we're just finishing off.
That's all of the special rules done. Nine, four in that row, one there, six there, yes. Seven, oops, nine, I'm sure I can, yes, that's become a seven, three, eight at the top here, seven and two, two must be there, I think, given the pencil marking, six and nine, five and four, two and three are resolved now. We've got five, eight and nine to finish along the bottom. Six and eight there, six, eight, two, and the last digit is a seven. Lovely. Thank you very much, Chris Weidman. That's a good puzzle. Not too hard. I think I made fairly heavy weather of it and took just over 20 minutes on the video. So um, well done if you did it quicker than that. Uh, there may have been ways to see your way through that better. I like the touch of the repeating digits in cages. I mean, especially when they turn out to be three fives in a row here. Great stuff. And uh, thank you as always for watching the channel. Lovely to see you again and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.